Two years ago marked the bicentennial celebration for the state of Maine. It also marked the 175th anniversary of the town of Searsport. So to mark that milestone, the Penobscot Marine Museum is dedicating a new permanent exhibit honoring the sailors and their families who made the town what it is today. New Center Maine's Carly Dion gives us a closer look. When you think of Maine's unique 200 year history, you likely think of all the action in the coastal towns and harbors. A lot of people driving up Route 1 see these gorgeous sea captains houses, but we're so much more than that. Penobscot Marine Museum curator Sipperly Good says Searsport is a town with a long-standing history of sailors who traveled overseas to make a living. To honor that history, a new permanent exhibit honoring the lives of those who set the town's foundation. I really think objects help tell stories and so now when you walk through the exhibit, it's a guided tour and someone can say, oh that's a really cool object. What is it? And the tour guide can say, oh, here's the story. Good says this collection they have is more than 75 years in the making and contains special mementos sailors and their families collected overseas, like a taxidermy turtle, China from Japan, Japanese robes and clothing, even small scale models of the ships built in town. Good notes many sentimental touches can be found, like markings on a nautical chart beyond showing how they traveled from point A to B at sea. The proud papa has marked the spot where his baby was born, where his wife gave birth. Executive Director Karen Smith says she appreciates how the objects are able to bring real stories from years ago to life. And this is a great way to show those roots that are so strong and beautiful and that people have such pride in. Why are we still here 175 years later is because of the people that came before us. And giving Mainers a sense of pride to see and hear how it all began. In Searsport, Carly Dion, New Center, Maine. The Penobscot Marine Museum in Searsport opens for the season today and the executive director says it'll be open every day through late October.